Hi everyone, welcome to Sinin How to Study Chinese. This is HSK Level 1 course, and I'm your teacher, Ronnie. Today we are going to learn Lesson 3. Lesson 3, 第三课. 你叫什么名字? 你叫什么名字? Which means, what's your name? What's your name? And for today's class, the first part is a little bit different from the other two lessons. The first part is warm up, warm up. We need to match these two groups. One group is pictures and another group is several words we don't know. And now first let's focus on the new words, new words. So first one here, read after me please. 中国 Zhongguo. I think some of you might already know what this means. It actually means China, right? The People's Republic of China. And next one is Mei Guo. Mo Mei Guo. It means America. Mei Guo. Mei Guo. Okay, next one is Zhongguoren. Read after me, please. 中国人, 中国人, 人 means human, person. So, 中国人 actually means Chinese people, Chinese people. Okay, next one, try to guess. 美国人, what does this mean? It means American people, right? Okay, next one is 老师, a third tone and a first tone. 老师, 老师, read up to me please. 老师, this one means teacher, teacher. So, I am your 老师 now. Okay, 老师, teacher. Last one is 学生, 学生. 生 is the neutral tone, neutral tone. And because 学 is second tone and 生 is after it, so 生 should, 生 speech should be lower than 学, okay? 学生, 学生. This means student. Okay, now try to match these two groups. I will give you 15 minutes, 15 seconds, okay? Okay, time's up. It is really easy. So now let's check the answer. First one, which one is Zhongguo? Which one? C is Zhongguo, right? That's because this is the Chinese flag, the flag of China. And next one, Meiguo is D. Meiguo is D. And next, Zhongguoren, Chinese people, Chinese people, which is Chinese people? Obviously, F, right? F. And which one can also be? A can also be Chinese too, okay? Next one for Meiguoren, which means American, American. So which one is the true answer? It is B. B. We can see there are many, many people of different color, different skin color. So B must be American. And there is another answer, which is E. Okay, these two are American. The next one, 老师, teacher, which is A, obviously. And 学生 is B, because they're holding books and they're wearing backpacks. Okay, this is for today's warm up. Now let's move on to our next part. Next part. So this is a text and our new words. First, let's focus on our new words. The first new word is 鸡要, 鸡要. The initial is 鸡, the final is 要, and the tone is fourth tone. So 鸡要, 鸡要. Read up to me, please. 鸡要, 鸡要, 鸡要. This word means to call, to be called. It is always used to express someone's name, someone's name, okay? First one is 叫, 
Next one is 什么什么 more more and this more is neutral tone neutral tone so 什么什么 read up to me please 什么什么 it is a pronoun it means what what so if you want to ask about someone's name you can say in this way 叫什么叫什么 Link these two, connect these two. 叫什么? Then it means, what are you called? How are you called? In this way. So, 叫什么? What's your name? So, next one. Next one is, 名字. 名字. 摸赢名字一字. 名字. Read the print, please. 名字. 名字, it means name, name, okay, 名字, name. So, when I want to say, what name, what name, then how can I say it in Chinese? What name? We just learned what is 什么, right? 什么, and name is 名字, 字 is the neutral tone, don't forget it. Mo and zi, they are all neutral tone. So, 什么名字 is what name? 什么名字? 什么名字? Okay, what name? And then, if I want to say, what name are you called? What name are someone called? Then I should put a 叫, okay, 叫. Then this is the answer. 叫什么名字? 叫什么名字? Okay, 叫什么名字? And when I want to say, what are you called? What are you called? Then it is, 你叫什么名字? 你叫什么名字? 你 is the subject of this sentence. And 叫 is the verb of this sentence. And 叫什么名字 is the predicate of this sentence. Okay, 你叫什么名字? 你叫什么名字? What's your name? Okay, next new word is 我 Read up to me, please. 我 It's a certain word. 我 我 It means me. Me. 我 I Me. Okay. Next is the proper noun. Proper noun. And it is Li Yue Le Yi Li Yue Yue Li Yue Li Yue. This is a name of a Chinese person, and Li is the very common Chinese family name. This is the new words for this text one. Now let's try to read them from start, each for twice. Okay, read up to me. Jia. 叫什么什么名字名字我我李月李月。Very good, very good. Now let's focus on the text. I'm going to read once and please pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? 你叫什么名字? 我叫李月 Okay, now let's see the sentences. First one, 你叫什么名字? We've already practiced about it before when we are learning the new words. Now let's see some details. First, 你 is the subject of the sentence. 你 means you and it is a Singular you, not like in English. You can mean singular or plural, but in Chinese, me only means singular, one person. Okay, next one. Jiao, we just learned. It means called, to be called. And it is the verb of the sentence. Called. And called what? Called what's name? 
is here. 什么名字? 什么名字? This is the object of this sentence. So we can see the structure of this sentence is the subject plus a verb plus its object. Okay, so this is 你叫什么名字? What are you called? What name are you called? Which means, what's your name? What's your name? And B answered, 我叫李月. 我 means me, I. 叫 is the verb. And Li Yue is a, is a name. It's a name. 我叫李月. I am called Li Yue. My name is Li Yue. So this is this text. Now let's try to read from the start. Read after me, okay? Three, two, one. 你叫什么名字? 我叫李月. Okay, this time, please try to do it in a row. I will be A and you will be B, okay? Now, three, two, one. 你叫什么名字? Very good. Now let's switch the row. I will be B and you will be A, okay? Three, two, one. Very good, very good. So this is text one. It happened in the school. Now let's move on to text two. And as usual, let's see the new words first. New words first. First one is 是, 是意, 是. Read up to me, please. 是, 是, 是. It means to be, to be. Something is or are or were before like this. To be something. Okay, next one. Next one is 老师. We've seen it in the warm-up part, right? 老师. Read up to me, please. 老师. 老师. And it means teacher. Teacher. Okay, teacher. So try to say that. Try to say mm, Chinese teacher. Teacher from China. Chinese teacher. We just learned how to say China. It is Zhong Guo. is China. So Chinese teacher is Zhong Guo Lao Shi. This is Chinese teacher. Now try to say American teacher. American teacher. We've just learned America is Mei Guo. Mei Guo. So American teacher is Mei Guo Lao Shi. Mei Guo Lao Shi. Okay, very good, very good. Now let's try to see next new word, which is a which is a particle. Particle. Okay, now let's see. It is ma mo a ma mo a ma. It is a neutral tone, neutral tone. So we should read it quick and soft, right? Quick and soft. Read up to me, please. Ma ma ma. Very good, very good. It is used at the end of a question. Question. Okay. So whenever you see a ma appeared in the sentence, then this sentence must be a question. Okay, now let's move on to last one. Last one is 学生, 学生. 西月学,十恩生, and 生 is the neutral tone, so pronounce it soft and quick. Now I'll read after me, 学生, 学生, 学生. It means student, student, okay, student. So now let's try to read from the start each word twice. Three, two, one. 是, 是, 老师, 老师, 吗, 
吗？学生，学生。Very good. Now let's move on to our text. I will read for you for once, and please pay attention to the pronunciations. 你是老师吗？我不是老师，我是学生。Okay, let's see. One by one, one sentence by one sentence. First, 你是老师吗 First, let's get rid of this ma. Let's don't focus on it. Let's focus on the former part. 你是老师 We just learned 是 means to be, be, right? To be. So 你 is you. 是 is the verb be. And 老师 is the object. Okay, 老师 means teacher. So 你是老师 means you are teacher, right? You are teacher. 你是老师 This is a decorative sentence. And uh, when I put a ma after it, it becomes a question, right? Question. It is always at the end of a question. This word. So then this question is, are you a teacher? Are you teacher? Right? Are you teacher? 你是老师吗 Are you teacher? So it is really easy to ask a question in Chinese because we just need to put a particle, particle after it. And then the sentence will become a question. Next, the answer. 我不是老师 Pay attention to this one. 不是 We learned 是 but we didn't know what is 不是不 Anybody still remember what we learned in last lesson? It actually is 不不不不不不 It means no, no, no. It is an adverb, negative adverb, and because it is before the fourth tone syllable, 是 that's why 不 changed its pronunciation, changed its tone into second tone, so it becomes 不是 and 不是 is the negative form of 是 okay, negative form of 是 so. If when this some this person said, 我不是老师 it means I am not teacher. 我 the subject me 不是 the verb teacher 老师 the object. 我不是老师 I'm not teacher. Next sentence is 我是学生我 I am student. Really easy. I am student. So this is the text. Please pay attention to 是 and 不是 Okay, 是 and 不是 These two are really important. Now let's read this text from the start. Read after me, please. Three, two, one. 你是老师吗？我不是老师。我是学生。Okay, now let's do a role play. I will be A, you will be B. Three, two, one. 你是老师吗？ Okay, now let's switch the role. Three, two, one. 我不是老师，我是学生。Very good. Now let's move on to our next text. As usual, the new words. First one is 人 Read after me, please. 人日恩人 The initial 日 the final 恩 the tone, second tone. 日恩人 It means human person. Human person. Now let's see the Proper nouns, proper nouns. These two, we've already seen them in the warm-up part. So first one is 知翁中歌我国中国 It means China, 中国 
Next one, 美国，摸，哎，美国国 ，the United States of America， 美国 and 中国。So we've just seen some words in the warm up. Now let's try to remember. First one, how to say Chinese people? Chinese people. Chinese people. We have all we need in here. So Chinese people is. 中国人 very good. 中国人 and then try to say American people. This one easy. It is 美国人 right? 美国人 okay. Very good. Very good. So these are the new words for text three. Now let's try to read from the start each for twice. Three, two, one. 人人中国，中国，美国，美国。Very good. Now let's move on to the text. I'm gonna read it and please pay attention to the pronunciation. 你是中国人吗？我不是中国人，我是美国人。Okay, now let's see the text. First sentence. 你是中国人吗 ？We see there is a ma, then this is a question. Okay, now let's see the structure of it first. 你 you 是 means to be. You are. 你是 you are 中国人 Chinese. So the sentence is: 你是中国人吗 ？Are you Chinese? Are you Chinese? And B answered: 我不是中国人。我 I'm 不是 is not I am not not to be not to be it is the negative form of 是我不是中国人 I'm not Chinese 我是美国人 I am American I am American okay this text is really easy really easy. And when you want to ask about someone's nationality, you can try to use this sentence, this structure. 你是 which 国人吗 Okay. So now let's try to read from the start. Read after me. Three, two, one. 你是中国人吗？我不是中国人，我是美国人。Okay, now let's move on. Let's let's do the wrong way. I will be A and you will be B. Okay, three, two, one. 你是中国人吗？ Very good. Now let's switch the role. Okay, switch the role. You will be A and I will be B. Please start. Excellent, excellent. Now let's move on to next part. So first, it is about the language point. First, the interrogative pronoun 什么，什么 We just learned it. It means What right? What and it is always used、uh, in the questions. Used in the questions to ask a question about what? What? For example, first one. 你叫什么名字？你叫什么名字 ？It means. What's your name? What's your name? And in this sentence, we can see the subject is. 你 you 叫 to be called to call or to be called is the verb, and this part is the object of the verb 叫 object of the verb 叫 and so as we can see here, 什么 can be an object or can be an object together with another nominal element nominal element. Okay, it can be a Object by itself, or together with another nominal element like name, something like that. Okay. Now next, 
is 这是什么? 这是什么? For 是什么, we all know what does this mean. But for 这, 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 read up to me, please. 这, 这, 这 means this, this. So 这是什么 actually means what is this? What is this? So in this sentence, 这, this actually acted as the subject of the sentence. And 是, as usual, is the verb. And 什么 is the object individually by itself. Okay, next sentence, another 这, 这是什么书? 这是什么书? Okay, 书 here is another new character. It actually means book. And the pin of it is 食物, 书, read up to me please, 书, 书, so this means book. And when I say 这是什么书, it means what is this book, what is this book. 这是什么 means what is this, and 这是什么书 means what is this book. Okay, very good. Now try to make some sentence. Try to make some sentence. Mm. What if I, okay, I have a book in my hand now. What if I have a book in my hand and I'm going to answer, ask a question. 这是什么? 这是什么? So what did I ask? I asked, what is this, right? What is this? So try to answer the question. What is this? 这是什么? So how to answer this question? We need to find a subject for this sentence, right? This is a book. This is a book. So the answer is 这是书. 这是书. This is book. 这是书. Yes. 这 is the subject for this sentence. And shu is the verb and shu is the object. So this is it. The interrogative pronoun shema is always the object of a question. Now let's move on to next language point. It is the shu sentence. Shu sentence. So this shu sentence is a determinative sentence with shu. Okay indicating what somebody or something equals or belongs to belongs to always it is mostly in this equals equals to something and the negative sentence of it is formed by adding to the negative adverb adverb bu before shi which is bu shi bu shi so the structure of the shi sentence is Something, something, shi or bu shi plus something. Okay, which means something equals to something or something it doesn't equal to this thing. Now let's try to see some examples. So first example is here. Li Yue Shi Lao Shi. Li Yue Shi Lao Shi. Li Yue is what we just learned. It is a name of a person. And Shi means to be, right? To be. And Lao Shi means teacher, teacher. So this sentence actually means Li Yue is teacher. Li Yue is teacher. So we can see the structure of this is something Li Yue Shi. Another thing, Lao Shi. This is the structure. Let's see next one is 我是美国人. 我是美国人. 我 means me. 是 means to be. 美国人 means American. So this sentence actually means I am American. I am American. So we can see the structure of it is the subject 我 equals to 美国人, American, American. 
Now let's see the last example, which is the negative form of 是。我不是老师。我 and 老师。What is the subject? 老师 teacher is the noun acted as an object. And 不是 here is the verb 不是 And the sentence actually means I am not teacher. I am not teacher. Okay, try to say, uh, try to make a sentence. I am student. I am student. Do you remember how to say student in Chinese? We just learned it. It is, 我 I am student. So I need to use I, right? I am. Am is 是我是学生。我是学生。It is. I am student. 我是学生 Very good, excellent. Okay, now let's move on to next part. Next part is the interrogative sentence with ma, ma, which is the neutral term. Okay, neutral term. So whenever this ma appears, it is a. This sentence should be a question. Question. And as we can see, when the ma is added at the end of a declarative sentence, declarative sentence, it makes the sentence become a interrogative sentence. Okay, we've just seen it before. Now let's see more examples. More examples. First one is, 你是美国人吗？你是美国人吗？ So first, let's don't focus on. Let's don't spend any time on ma. Let's just see the formal part of the sentence. So the formal part is 你是美国人 It is a declarative sentence, right? You are American. You are American. 你 you 是 are 美国人 American. So this is a declarative sentence, and I put a ma after it. It becomes a question. 你是美国人吗 Are you a American? Are you an American? So this is the magic of ma. Now let's see next one. 你是中国人 You are Chinese. Yes, it is. You are Chinese, and I put a ma after it. 你是中国人吗？你是中国人吗 ？It means, are you Chinese? Are you Chinese? It becomes a question. Last example is, 你是老师。You are teacher. You are teacher. And I put a ma after it. It becomes, 你是老师吗 ？Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? So this is the interrogative, interrogative sentence with ma, and it is a, it is a particle, okay, mode particle, ma, mode particle ma, and if I put a bu in front of this, if I put a bu in front of this, then what is the meaning of this sentence? Try to guess. Try to guess. Are you, are you not American? Yes, it means are you not American? 你不是美国人吗 Are you not American? It is the same as English. Okay, so don't be too confused about it. Now let's move on to next part. Next part. It is answer the question according to the actual situations. Answer the questions. So first question is. 你叫什么名字？你叫什么名字 ？What does this question mean? 你叫什么名字 ？It means what's your name, right? What's your name? So what is your name? Try to answer it. You can say, for example, my name is Ronnie. Then I will answer, 我叫 Ronnie. 我叫 Ronnie. I will say. The first, the subject is 我 and I will put a verb after it. 
我叫叫 is to call or to be called, right? So 我叫 Ronnie. It is the way to answer this kind of question about name. 我叫 我叫 something blah 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 blah. Okay, this is question one. Now let's move on to question two. 你是中国人吗? 你是中国人吗? This means, are you a Chinese? Are you Chinese? So if you are, then you can say, 我是中国人. Yes, 我是中国人. If you are not, then, 我不是中国人, use the negative negative form of 是, okay? 我不是中国人, okay? This is the answer of this question. The next one, 你是美国人吗? 你是美国人吗? This means, are you American? So the answer is similar to the last one. If you are, then you can say, 是, 我是美国人, 我是美国人, I am American. If you are not, then you just need to use the negative form of 是, 我不是美国人, 我不是美国人, okay? Now let's move on to the next question. 你是老师吗? 你是老师吗? 老师 means teacher, right? Teacher, we just learned it. So this question is, are you teacher? Are you teacher? So try to answer it. Try to answer it. If you are, then it is, 我是老师. 我是老师. If you are not, then, 我不是老师. 我不是老师. Okay. Now, last question. It is, 你是学生吗? 你是学生吗? What does this mean? It means, are you a student? Are you a student? You are a student, ma? Are you a student? Now let's answer this question, the same as the former one, the same as the last question. The structure is the same. Okay, if you are, then it is 我是学生. If you are not, 我不是学生. 我不是学生. Excellent. Now let's move on to our next part. Next part is try to use the word and the language point we've learned today and fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Okay, we can see here are some pictures. So first, here is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan here. Michael Jordan here. And Michael Jordan's name's translation in Chinese is Xiao Dan. Xiao Xiao De An Dan Xiao Dan Read after me please Xiao Dan Xiao Dan This is Jordan Jordan Okay we can see he is Jordan Okay Ta Xiao Xiao Dan which means his name is Jordan Okay Ta Ta here means he, he, okay, he, read after me, please. Ta, te, a, ta, ta, okay, so ta jiao chao dan means his name is Jordan, his name is Jordan. And ta shi shen ta shi shen we all know he is from he is in America, right? He is in America, so he is 美国人. Excellent. 美国人. Okay, this is the 
blank one. 美国人 Okay, try to read this sentence with me. Okay, try to read it with me. Three, two, one. 他叫乔丹。他是美国人。Read again. 他叫乔丹。他是美国人。Okay, next one. See this picture. He is. Yao Ming, and he is another very great basketball player, right? Okay. 他叫姚明。他叫姚明。姚明。Okay. Two second tone syllables. 姚明。And 他是什么人 ？Which country is he from? 他叫姚明，他是 ，he is from China. So China is 中国，中国之翁，中歌吾国，中国。So this answer is 他是中国人，中国人，中国。Okay, now let's try to read this sentence from start. Read up to me, please. 他叫姚明，他是中国人。Okay, read again. 他叫姚明，他是中国人。Okay, next. Here we can see there is a little boy, and he looks like he is studying. Okay, let's see the sentence. First one, 我不是，我不是什么。A comma, 我是学生。我是什么人 ？Okay, first he said, I'm not something. I am student, 学生 student, right? And he said, I am what people, what people. So first one, he is student, which means he's not a, he's not a teacher, he's not teacher. So how to say teacher in Chinese? It is 老师，老师 Okay. So first, 我不是老师，我不是老师。Okay. Next one. 我是什么人 He looks like a Chinese, right? So let's just write it as Chinese. It is okay if you want to write 美国 as well. But since he looks like Asian and he's speaking Chinese, so let's say he is a Chinese. Okay. 我是中国人 Now let's try to read from the start. Okay, read from the start. 我不是老师，我是学生，我是中国人。Okay, let's try to read again. 我不是老师，我是学生。我是中国人。Okay, pay attention to 学生。生 is the neutral tone. We should read it soft and quick. Last one. You can see here is a. He looks like a teacher, right? He looks like a teacher. Okay, now let's see. I am. I am. What? 我是什么？我不是学生。I am not student. 我是什么人 ？It is really easy. So first, he is a teacher, right? So 我是老师。我是老师。我不是学生。And 我是什么人？ He looks more like he's from America, right? So let's just say he's from America. So 我是
美国人, okay? Try to read it from the start. 我是老师, 我不是学生, 我是美国人. Okay, very good. So this is for today's exercise. Now let's move on to next part. Next part is the differentiation, pronunciation of the initials. G, C, C, and Z, C, C. Okay, first it is about G, C, C. We can see there are three, three pictures here. It helps us to understand how to pronounce them. So first one, G and the G, let's see them together. For these two, we need to rise up the former part of our tongue, former part of our tongue to touch the upper gum or to say the hard palate, palate. We need to touch it and quickly remove our tongue, remove our tongue to make a gap, to make a gap to what? For make the air go through the gap like this, like this, like this. The air should go through it. So for G and T, the position of our tongue and the shape of the mouth is the same. But what's the difference? We just said it's the air, right? Try to put your hand or tissue in front of your mouth, and G is soft air, and T is stronger air, stronger air. Okay. This is these two. The difference between these two, and for C, C. See, from the start, it is never, the tongue never touches the hard palate, okay? For G and T, we will touch and remove. But for C, we won't touch. We will just always leave a gap here, okay? So C, T, C, the differences between these three are like this. Now, listen and Read after me, okay? Listen and read after me with these. Let's try to practice these initials. First one is 休息. 休息, it means to rest, to rest. 休息, 息, 息 is the, this one is the neutral tone, okay? 休息. Next one is, next one is 积极. Read after me, please. 积极. G G G E G G E G G G it means active active. Next one is G C G C it means machine machine. Next Xiao Chu Xiao Xiao Chu Yu Chu Xiao Chu it means a a block a block where you live. Next one is xin qi xi yin xin qi yi qi xin qi xin qi it means weak next one xiang jiao xi yang xiang jiao jiao two first tone words xiang jiao it means banana xiang jiao next one xi yin xin qi yu qi xin qi it means interest interest Last one, last one is 继续, 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 means continue, continue. Okay, now let's move on to next one. Next one is 子子 and 子, 子子, 子. For these two, 子 and 子, they are the same. 子 and 子, the position of the tongue is the same. We need to put our tongue to touch the the former part of our tongue will rise up and touch the upper teeth, upper teeth, the back of our upper teeth. And then the difference between zi and zi is the air too. For zi, the air is soft. For zi, the air is much stronger. Okay, soft, strong. Okay, soft, strong, strong. And for zi, don't touch. Don't make your tongue touch the upper upper teeth. Just be close to it, approach it, but don't touch. Zi, zi, zi. This is the difference between them. Now let's just practice. Read after me. Xi zao, xi yi xi, 
Now we've learned the tone Sandy for when two such tones together. What should we do? We should change the former one, former third tone into second tone, right? So Xi Zhao, there are two such tones. What should we do? Change Xi into Xi. So read the print, please. Xi Zhao, Xi Zhao. Next one. The da si ao sao. And there are two third tones, so we should change the former one into second tone. So it's da sao. Read after me. Da sao. Da sao. Next one is san tzu. Read after me, please. San tzu. San tzu. Don't, we don't need to know the exact meaning of these words. We are just using them to practice our pronunciation, okay? So now let's just practice the pronunciation. San tzu. San san tzu yi tzu. San tzu. Next one. Zi yi zi, ji yi ji. Read after me, please. Zi ji. Zi ji. Okay, next one is zi wo zuo te yan tian. Zuo tian. Zuo tian. Next one is zao shang. Zi ao zao shang shang. Shang is the neutral tone. Okay, read after me. Zao shang. Zao shang. Next one is Zi ao cao chi ang chang. Cao chang. Cao chang. One is ci, one is chi. Don't confuse it, okay? Cao chang. Next one is han zi he an. Han zi yi zi. Han zi, which means Chinese. Okay, this is the differentiation between these initials. Now let's move on to the pronunciation of the finals. Finals. So first we can see here are the differentiation between e, u, and u. E, u, and u. I know some of you might be a little bit difficult to pronounce u. So here is the trick. Try to pronounce e first. E is very easy for everyone. E, right? And don't move anything in your mouth. Hold the position of your tongue and try to slowly round your mouth. For example, like this. E. See, the magic happen. It becomes u. So we can see the tongue position of e and u is the same. Now try to try to say u again from e. Okay. E. U. So this is u. But for u, for u, we can see here it is u, u, it is different. For e and u, we will rise up the former part of our tongue. But for u, we will rise up the back part of our tongue. So it is u, u, but the shape of our lip is the same as u. Okay, this is e, u, and u, e, u, and u. Try to practice more. Try to practice more. I, I think you can all know how to practice them. Next one is the tone sandy of bu, tone sandy. We've already learned the tone sandy before, but today we are going to learn it detail, in detail. So first rule is when bu is in front of the first, second, and third tone, it will change nothing. It won't change, for example, like this. I don't eat. It didn't change, right? is the first tone. Next, when it's, be, it's before the second tone, xing is the second tone. It didn't change. Next one, when it is before a third tone, how how is the third tone? how didn't change. And so when, when will it change? It will change before the fourth tone, fourth tone. When it is before the fourth tone, it will change to second tone. Okay, try to see. First one is Bu Hui. He Wei Hui is the fourth tone, fourth tone. So it changed. Next one, Bu Shi. Shi is to be, right? Bu Shi means no, it is not. So Bu Shi. Bu changed into Bu. Bu. So summary of this tone sandy is when when bu is before a fourth tone, fourth tone syllable, it will change into second tone, second tone. 
And in other occasions, nothing happens. Okay, this is tone sandy. And tone sandy actually means tone change. Okay, tone change. Now let's move on to the next part. The pin rules, the pin rules. When we finals, we finals. We finals are we itself or the finals finals involved with we started with we. And when these we finals are after GT, we will get rid of these two dots on we. Okay, and put the tone mark on it. And when it is after l and n, l and n, nothing happens, okay? Nothing happens. Let's see some examples. You can see first line here is yu line. So first, listen to me, what I pronounce, it's chi, chi. Although it looks like wu, but I pronounced ju, right? That's because when yu is after GTC, GTC, the two dots were removed. So some of you might ask, what if GTC is followed by U? Then I will tell you, this will never happen. GTC, U will never be after GTC, okay? There will be only U. So don't worry about this. U will never be after them. Now let's see your line. Your, this line is about your, your. first one. Your, without two dots, right? Your, no two dots. Your, two dots are removed again. And your, two dots are removed again. So other for other, you finals are the same. When they are after GTC, the two dots will be removed. Removed. And when it is with L and N, the two dots are remained, remained. And so from this, we can see U can be after L and N, okay? So these are the pin rules, pin rules. Now let's move on to next part, which is the strokes for today, strokes. First stroke, new stroke is this thing, hang zhe go, hang zhe go, which means horizontal turning hook, horizontal turning hook. First, so from the, from the name itself, we can see what does this mean. It is first horizontal and turn and then hook, right? The direction of writing it is like this, horizontal turning hook. Horizontal turning hook. Okay, let's see the example for it. First one is man, mo an, man, which means door. And it is written in this way. This part is the horizontal turning hook. Horizontal turning hook. Next is yue, 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 which means moon or month. And it is written like this. So we can see this part is horizontal turning hook, hang zhe go. Okay, next one, next stroke is wo go. It looks like this, wo go, lying hook. It looks like it's lying and hooked. So the direction of writing it is from left to right, top to bottom, hook it, okay? Hook, hook. So the example, first one is, Xin, 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 which means heart, heart. It looks like this. This part is the lying hook. Next is nin, nin, which means you, but it is a polite way to express you. We can see it is a ni, and under ni, there is a xin here, xin here, and it is a hook too. These are the two new strokes for the day. One is heng zhe go, horizontal turning hook. One is wu go, a lying hook, lying hook. So let's see the single component characters of today. First one, yu, we just seen it here, which means moon or month. And it actually originally looked like this, just like the moon in the sky. 
And today, in modern Chinese, we will write it like this. Now let's see how to write it. First, it is a what left turning 撇, and then a horizontal turning hook, and then a horizontal short one, and then another short one. Try to write it with me. First, left turning, horizontal turning hook, horizontal, horizontal. This is 月. Left turning, horizontal turning hook, horizontal, horizontal, yeah. Okay, next one is xin. We just, we just saw it when we are learning wu go lying hook. So we can see originally it just looked like a heart. This looked more like a heart. And nowadays we write it like this. Xin, xin. And the uh, Direction of writing it is first a dot and then a line hook or go and then another dot in the middle and another dot on the right. Try to write it with me. A dot and then on its right try to write a line hook and on the line hook try to write a dot and another dot on the right. Okay, try again. Dot, line hook, dot, dot. This is heart. Really easy one. Next is Zhong of Zhongguo. Zhong, it means middle. It means middle. In the ancient time, originally it meant the flying flag. Now it is means middle. Middle. It is really easy to write. First, a short vertical. And then a horizontal turning. Without hook, okay? Without hook. And then a horizontal. And then last, a vertical in the middle, in the middle. Try to write it with me. A vertical, a horizontal turning. A horizontal, a vertical. Again, vertical, horizontal turning, horizontal, vertical. It says, zhong, middle. Last one is zhen, which means human and person. It looks just like human, even now in the modern Chinese. So it is really easy. Left turning and right turning. Okay, left, right, left, right. Write with me, left, right, left, right. Left is longer and right started in the middle of the left, okay? Left, right. So these are the new words we've learned today, new characters. Now let's move on to the next part, which is the director, the order of writing Chinese, writing Chinese. First is try to write the horizontal and then the vertical. We will write the horizontal first and then write the vertical. Let's see the example character. Is first one is shi. This character means ten. And the writing order of it, stroke order of it is first we are going to write the horizontal and then writing the vertical. This is the direction. And another example is gong, which means work, labor. We've seen it before. And the stroke order is first a horizontal, and then a vertical, and then a horizontal. So first is the horizontal. But we need to write it from top to bottom. That's why we wrote the vertical again. And then there should be a horizontal to finish it. Okay, this is the first rule. First horizontal and then vertical. And next rule is first left turning and then right turning. For example, like this, eight, eight, ba. We will write the short left turning first and then write a long right turning. And next example is the same, Ren. We just learned how to write it. A long left turning and then a shorter right turning. This is the order of writing strokes in Chinese. So this is all for today's class. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to practice writing after this class and see you next time. Bye bye.